From cardinal to criminal, George Pell has fallen far. He was born in Ballarat to a publican father and a strict Irish Catholic mother in 1941. His towering physique made an impression at school, where he was a debater and a footballer. Catholic historian and former priest, Paul Collins, umpired some of his games. He always had leadership ability. He was a, a strong personality and he was a very rough footballer, very tough, very strong uh, and let nobody get in his way. Let's place ourselves in the presence of God our loving Father. George Pell gave up football for seminary life and study in Rome before being ordained as a priest in 1966. After a doctorate at Oxford, he returned to Australia in 1971. He shared accommodation in East Ballarat with fellow priest Gerald Ridsdale. 20 years later, Pell accompanied Ridsdale to court. Ridsdale pleaded guilty to abusing children, but Pell denied any knowledge of his offences. I didn't know whether it was common knowledge or uh, whether it uh, wasn't. It's a sad story and it wasn't of much interest to me. As a young priest, Pell rose quickly through the ranks to be in charge of Catholic schools in Ballarat. After further education and more senior roles, he became a bishop and then Archbishop of Melbourne in 1996. Pell soon gained a national reputation as a staunch defender of the Catholic faith, condemning abortion, the ordination of women and homosexuality. We're aware that it does exist. Uh, we believe that it's, such activity is wrong. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice is yours. The type of Catholicism that Pell promoted was what I'd call boots and all Catholicism. You know, you cop it sweet, uh, you do what you're told. As Archbishop of Melbourne, George Pell engineered an in-house inquiry and compensation process for victims of sexual abuse, called the Melbourne Response. It's a matter of regret that the Catholic Church has taken some time to come to grips with this sexual assault issue um, adequately. George Pell, tell the truth. But victims and their families have criticised George Pell for lacking compassion. In our interactions with the now Cardinal Archbishop Pell, we experienced a sociopathic lack of empathy. When we went to them, went to George Pell, he just crushed us. They just bullied us and spoke over us. In 2002, George Pell moved north to become Archbishop of Sydney and continued to publicly express sorrow and regret to victims of abuse. Especially those who've suffered at the hands of fellow Christians, Christian officials, priests, religious teachers. But just after becoming Sydney's top Catholic, Pell was accused of abusing a boy at a camp in Victoria in 1961 when he was a trainee priest. I uh, believe completely uh, George Pell's denial. A retired judge found honesty in both the accuser's account and Pell's denial, but rejected the complaint. There's no mud to stick, I've been exonerated. Pell's rise in Rome continued, becoming a cardinal in 2003. He built relationships with powerful and influential cardinals. And so um, his name then became known in Rome and he was seen as the go-to person on Australian affairs. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. By 2014, he was one of the most powerful men in the Vatican, becoming its treasurer. He consolidated uh, the, the, the whole papal financial system. I was very confused. I responded poorly. Via a video link from Rome in 2016, George Pell told the Royal Commission into Institutional Responses to Child Sexual Abuse that he was unaware of the crimes of others as he rose through the church. Are you telling me they deceived you? Um, yes. It's an extraordinary position, Cardinal. Um, Council, this was an extraordinary world, a world of crimes and cover-ups. When abuse allegations against George Pell himself 
where aired on 7.30 in 2016, Victorian police confirmed they were investigating. Today, Victoria Police have charged Cardinal George Pell with historical sexual assault offences. Um, From Rome, Pell responded quickly. I'm looking forward, finally, to having my day in court. Uh, I'm innocent of these charges. They are false. The whole idea of sexual abuse is abhorrent to me. George Pell returned to Australia for his day in court and in December a jury found him guilty of child sexual offences against two choir boys in Melbourne in 1996. This is the shock of shocks and so um, uh, I'm, al I'm almost at a loss as to answer the question where we go from here uh, and I think the only thing that I can ask of the bishops is that, that they um, get together and offer us some leadership because God knows the Catholic Church in Australia needs it. George Pell maintains his innocence and is appealing the judgment.